panggil dia? Sangkut tak? Am I am I audible, Sangkut? Yeah. No, it's not audible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Dr. Sahwal is at Lucknow, so he asked me to join. So I I I am here only. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so we may like, like to join, join or, or uh, we will continue. continue. So uh, already you have sent that uh, this thing, no? Just just I will ask him. Link, uh, yeah, 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 link is already shared. shared to, yeah, yeah, it is already shared, shared to uh, no, Dr. Dr. Saibal also. Because because so, there is heavy uh, rain in Lucknow also, and uh, they are not able to come. Achha. There is uh, you know the achha, achha. light has been cancelled and all that. Uh, Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand it yesterday uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in northern uh, so part the, of country there, there was a heavy rain, rain even including rain. delhi yeah. you know mm. yeah so so, so just, just check ma'am uh, yeah. give me just, just one minute, minute. i am just joining back, back. <clears throat> okay well, you come back we are waiting no problem we got this is what like what can we what the fast of us thing last last me do oh so हेलो आप बिजी हो क्या किसी मीटिंग में ओ ओ अभी वो डिस्किंग द प्रोग्रेस इन दिटी स्पॉन्सर स्टडी इन दट इम्पैक्ट इंडिपेंडेंट असेसमेंट ऑफ इम्पैक्ट ऑफ माइक्रो फाइनेंस एंड लाइफ ऑफ माइक्रो फाइनेंस बोर So, so last meeting year, we had in the month of uh, mid of May. So wherein uh, uh, it was important that uh, survey works will be started and some approval you know, has to be taken from governor. So I understand subsequently all approval will come and they also release a part of the amount. I think 16 lakhs something will release a part of the amount as requested by Sadan. So the main I understand main uh, focus of the work now at this stage is uh, survey, right, ma'am? Yes. yes. So, so let us you know uh, discuss briefly discuss what uh, what happened uh, since last meeting and what is the future course of action and uh, now since we are running under already extended uh, duration so we now we have to accelerate the whatever work and any support from sadhan and any support you need from sibbi so so just the purpose of the meeting is just to review the progress sir. okay so we have thank you sir so, uh, it's over to you
Yeah, we have prepared a small presentation for you. So hmm. I am Bharti and I have prepared a presentation, and okay. we are going to show you the presentation to give you a update of what the study is there. Uh, but before I do, uh, before we do the presentation, I really, uh, really thankful to Sitpis and Sadhan because the money was becoming a little bit a project not from your side but from the you know, governor signing etc. That's now all settled and finally so all the monetary issues are now no longer in the problem in the past. And finally also Shamita has been so helpful because you know getting the size of sample size is fine, but getting to coordinate with the ME5 is not a easy task. So once you coordinate with the head guy, then you can do the survey. But she has been so helpful and we have a WhatsApp group in which the median people there and Samita is there and I am there and Bhatti is there. So that is really working out to be very nice. I mean but there are little bit issues here and there, but on an average, you're very, very confident the way the survey is So with that, I just want to share my screen and then we'll do this. Yes, sir. Please go ahead, sir. Yeah. I'm doing it. You can see screen that. Interesting. Yeah, share. Will you click it? Yeah. And then you can open it. Yeah, open it. I'll open it. No, no, no. Just share. Ah, no. Okay. Can you see? Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can see the PPT. Yeah. This is yeah. So here is the progress report of the study on the impact of microfinance on the lives of people. We are just using the, uh, you know, the title which is there in the QR. It is written impact of microfinance on the lives of the people. So we are using that. If you want us to write independent study on the impact, then we will write. But it is written like that, so we have written on the QR. But you can clarify and you can change it. So, you know, the study was awarded in August 2nd and then the, uh, and the final submission data was indeed August 1st for the first letter, but there is a mistake in that letter, and then when the new letter was issued because of some time was lost, so in the new letter mentioned that the completion date is August 31st. Okay, now, so here is the update on the survey as of June 26, as of the day before yesterday, and the field work started on June 10th, so we are 16 days, about 16 days into the study, uh, into the survey. So the number of zones, as you know, is six. Uh, number of uh, states are 80, and number of districts are 33, and number of district M5. That means number of M5 users uh, which we are uh, surveying. But if Ashikwad is in two districts, they will count them as a two because it is a different Ashikwad. So 71. So on that, uh, sorry, uh, on that we have near near completion or ongoing. Zones, so we have touched three zones. Number of states we have touched is four. It, is, uh, it shows to be a little bit smaller compared to the 18. However, these, these four are one of the, is among the four biggest states in the terms of sample size and account for 45% of the sample. So our total sample size is 6,000. And these four states, which are Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Odisha, and Maharashtra, but is yeah, yeah. So these states are Tamil Nadu, Odisha, and Maharashtra. They are 45 percent of the sample, about 2,700 out of 6,000. And the two big states which we are, which we are yet to start are uh, Bihar and UP because we we started all these states because at the time when we started the elections were uh, beginning with the planning stage, the election was happening in Bihar, uh, Bihar and uh, uh, Uttar Pradesh was there. And the states were completely completed, so we started with that. So, though it is looks like four states, but in terms of our sample, it is about 45%. So, we are pretty good in 15 days, 45%. 
and the number of districts is 10 and the number of total districts is 571. Coverage right now is 16 because these are really, these are the sample. These are actually the baby five is big sample size. Now, if you look at the competition rate, that's what I'm about to say that we are, in terms of total sample size, it is 30, about 30% 30 we have to cover in 15 days. But this is a bigger one where the logistic challenge is much faster, um, uh, much higher. But when you go to the smaller states, it will happen at a much rapid rate compared to these big ones. Now, this is a nice, probably a comforting, comforting slide for all of us, uh, comforting slide from all of us, that this represents, you know, the geographical distribution of the sample size. Because one of the reasons that we understood that when the survey, uh, I mean, the previous study was done a really little bit smaller sample size of 400 that it didn't give a lot of geographical representation uh, to the other country. But if you look at the dots, you shall see the following. The green dots are the places uh, which have the smaller sample size, right? You know, between 30 to 100. Yellow are the ones where the sample size is from 100 to 249. These are medium sort of size because we want to cover not only big and so big ones, uh, but also the small and the medium ones. Because if you cover only the big ones, then the size will be about the MF5 and not about the state. And the red ones are the bigger ones, which is the sample size of 250 to 249. And then you can, if you see the green dots and the red dots, you shall obviously see that the green dots are the uh, green dots are the um, highly, I mean, highly dispersed. In the sense that most of the green dots, which means the uh, smaller uh, sample sizes are generally small, small, small. But there are red dots in the red dots, uh, red dots in, uh, in in the in the four sorry in the four states that we have started: Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, and. Uh, Odisha, you find most of the red dot. The only one red dot that you don't find is the Bihar, because we have not yet started Bihar. So this gives you the geographical location of your sample size. The bigger four states are done, and uh, bigger four states are done, and the smaller states we are going to uh, continue uh, as we go forward. Now, Steve, yes. uh, can you please go to the... So, so here, the red dot, what, what you are referring, uh, in Bihar, uh, it is in Muzaffarpur. So, but you told that survey is yet to start in Bihar. So, it is a proposed geographical coverage, is it so? No, no, no. This ah. is a distribution of the entire 6,000. It will be covered, it's not proposed. It will be covered. Achha, okay. Because they okay, have okay. Start all in India, so and we did not start because we wanted to start in all the states where the red dots were there. But when they started the survey, the election was happening in Bihar, so they didn't go to Bihar at that time. So, so Bihar and UP. Uh. Yeah, Bihar and UP had an election only at the end, correct? So therefore, the okay. moment is for a the Bihar and the UP will start. It is not okay. proposed, it will happen for sure. The reason I'm saying the only red dot missing is the Bihar because at the time Bihar election was going on when they are planning the logistics. It will be covered, sir. Tick, tick. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. And then, now you have, you had also said, you know, during several talking with the advisory committee uh, and then they suggested that, uh, I mean, we should call out people from different cycles. You know, uh, for example, cycle one other people were just the new. So, I mean, yeah, so, so there, uh, change, any changes from baseline, or compared to cycle four or five or something like that, who are more mature, and therefore they are, they are more likely to be able to tell like the long-term effects of MA5. So the distribution of the sample across cycles is also very important. And during our uh, various presentations, I can hide this thing. Yeah. Uh, during our several discussions, so this was the percentage as we came up across this percentage, especially uh, Dr. Bridgeborn was also saying uh, we stopped at five cycles, but it's six and above. So this is a percentage distribution across cycles, 10, 20, uh, I mean, uh, the, from the bottom. You have the poorest of poor, which is 10, and then have uh, cycle 0. And they have, I mean, this, is, this is probably from the baseline in cycle 1, and then cycle 2, 3, 4, so 20, 20, 20. And basically, a little bit in the tapering of on the tails and higher percentages in the middle. So, I mean, it looks like a should be a sort of a normal distribution type, uh, uh, type uh, percentage distribution of cycles. So, the aim, so this is the AMD percentage, and the AMD number is 600, 600, and just the multiplication. And the completed, the one that is completed till now, 1689, 
and we have keep on of course, this is an important part. We are still monitoring the right hand side of it that in terms of percentage of what is are we getting the sample in the uh, in the composition that we wanted, and we are getting that X is a cycle zero, which is the poorest of poor, which is now at, which you have a aim of ten percent, but right now is six percent roughly, and we have a special site for the poorest of poor. Uh, because, because it's harder, the, the, uh, especially the advisory committee members were also very strong in saying that we should uh, have a good sample of, uh, of the poorest of poor. But notice one thing that means we have 10% of 6,000, which is 600 poorest of poor samples. So in statistical terms, that number is pretty high, 600. Um, uh, so, uh, and uh, what has happened is that since we started is Karnataka, I mean, apart from Orissa, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, a little bit more relatively prosperous state. So, even if you go randomly, you are unable to find the poorest of the poor. We found this 98 mostly from Orissa. As we go to the, you know, little bit less developed states, and we show you in terms of per capita expenditure, even economic status, that means the percentage um, of the poorest of the poor coverage in the increase is uh, disproportionately uh, to meet that 10 percent. Now, the so there's one question here, here. like uh, yes. out of 600 A, we completed 178. So, what is the 10.5 percent that is coming? It is 10.5 uh, percent is coming out of that. Uh, so, out of that, you know, the first column is the percentage based on 6,000. And the last column is 178 divided by 1689. That means the set of samples that we have covered, how much we have covered. Okay, 178 divided by how, how it is calculated? 178 divided by 1689. Okay, what is that 1689? That is the total, total completed. completed. Okay, total, total completed. completed. Yes. So we are keeping that in the set of the people that we have already completed, that our percentage should be based going towards somehow near to whatever we are going to aim for. That means in terms of the total sample size coverage of 6,000, uh, so cycle 6 and above should be 10 percent to 600. Now we have not completed 6,000, we have completed only 1,689. So of which so we have to calculate that percentage of within our coverage. With no, so most of the numbers are very near to uh, except I have bothered about the cycle zero. But as I told you that since we have started with a little bit of the prosperous state, the, you know the poorest of the poor are not coming. So they will come much more when we go to the uh, little bit poorer state. And we have and we have prepared a slide and we will present it. Now, but in, yes, sir. In the, uh, here I have one more question. See, See, in this, this cycle, cycle uh, one to six, six and above, and is it uh, the, the members, members who are, are no, uh, the, the respondee are in this up same group, in the, within the same, same group itself, you uh, you are uh, uh, respond, uh, take, take a response, response from, from the cycle, cycle one, cycle two, cycle, cycle three, or different, different different groups? Different uh, different groups. Uh, Achha, uh, for, for example, example in, in a particular group, there is one respondent. So, that, 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 that respondent will be unique, unique no, sir. So, so in, in the, the same, same group, there will not be other, other cycle. cycle. Uh, no. I mean, I mean, am I right? right? Uh, in my understanding? Yes, yes you are correct, sir. You are exactly correct. Because what is happening okay. is that you are correct. If someone is going to Karnataka, you know, Nashibad, Nashibad has a, uh, you know, sample size, not clearly, not needed. So, there is a sample size of 400. So, now, uh, as a good thing about the media, you say, let me, uh, that, since you ask this question, it is a very nice question. When we give this cycle effects, no, out of 10 percent cycle, that is like our vision was that this should, this should happen at the all India level. That is, once you do across states and across districts, and then total level may out of 6,000 that has to be 10 percent. But it is impossible to guarantee that because after the survey, if you do not do at every point of time and you come, but they will not be able to do anything once you finish. So, so what media is doing is that for every center and every MFI, they are putting this restriction of 10%, 20% in that MFI in that district. So now what is happening is that if it is 400, so now when you go to a you know in a, in a village meet, so in that group, it is very unlikely that one person will be one cycle, the two cycle, three cycle. So in Jagat, the group may meet that. So so they are all five cycles, two cycles. So what they are doing is that they are going to different different block points 
one block point is one uh, cycle one other than a cycle two or not a cycle three. So you are right in the sense that when you go to a particular spot on that in that space and in that group, they are all same cycles. However, to get these different cycles, you have to therefore go to different 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 uh, spots. And actually, that is one of the very good thing about the median. They are actually, you know, somebody says the cycles, five people are very near I mean, from that uh, town. So they just go by bus or something like that. But they are hiring motorbike and going to deeper, deeper places because, you know, people who are getting one cycle, two cycles, the poorest of poor, they are really far away from that. So they are hiring motorbike, they are going like that. Uh, so, so you are right that, that in a particular group, it is not it is homogeneous, but across groups, there are different so let me let me tell it uh, Sintel, if you if you allow me uh, sir yeah, can, yeah, I, yeah. can i explain what i understand uh, yes, uh, yes. for for each each district when they visit one center it is one of the cycle right so suppose it is cycle right. 6 or ever so that group is done uh, they have to uh, find out one person from that group the second is for finding cycle 5 within that district they have to go to another block another center right. and right. then uh, like likewise they have to visit several centers because the branch manager is there to guide them the branch managers are indicating which center will have which cycle of clients so this is how it is going going on right sir this is this is yeah. what you yeah, got it, got it, got it. I mean, I, I, I that is why I mean, I keep on saying thank you to Sanjita, but it is true because you know, I, I, when you sat in our office, we just allocated the sample of 400, but they had said five years. So now it is very difficult because the only go to the branch manager, he only alone can tell that this block is cycle C, this is that block is cycle five. That block is cycle two, and so they have been very cooperative. Generally, it's very cooperative, and they are taking the survey team uh, to different different blocks, and they are actually I'm very surprised to see that even the set of completion, the percentage of that we are expecting are not going haywire. That is, this is not like uh, we want ten percent, it is becoming uh, you know two percent or something like that. Within the regional uh, ballpark, I'm pretty sure with it, with the survey nearly to our uh, end, I mean the one thing was sixty seven percent. We will start. Monitoring in a little bit more methodical way so that we come very, very close to the percentages. But on a whole, it is really looking very nice. Sir, so, one, so, one question. Yeah. Sir, how, many, how many clients do you survey, uh, median surveys from each center? Is there some uh, details? Uh, how, how many sub from, from, from every center, center that I don't know. We are we just, we are only given, given media, we have given media, what, what we have done for every district. district. We, we have given him, see every district has three, every district has three, uh, every district has uh, three centers. One center is the, the topmost center, the, which is the urban center, then is semi-urban and then is the rural center. So those three. So we have allocated up to that time. And then we have said the percentage of cycle must add up to 10% in the total. We have not given them 10% in every district, but they are somehow finding out. And we have not allocated, we have allocated to the district and to that unified in that district. After that, we have not allocated because there is no way for us to allocate because we don't have the sample accounts and all those things to you know, exogenously import the sample size. Okay, okay. So, uh, uh, sir, uh, GM, sir, if you if you understand that we were only like the MFIs were unwilling to share their some uh, client data, uh, none of them actually shared. Actually, they never shared the client data. So that is why we asked them to help us with the branch manager details so that we can reach to the clients and the centers so that we can ourselves identify the uh, clients to be interviewed. So the numbers that were given to the survey team, where these are the particular numbers in the cent in the district, this these has to be from urban, this has to be rural, this has to be uh, from semi-urban. So that was uh, agreed by the uh, advisory committee, sir, initially. Okay. So that that is the classification, Dr. Sarkar is uh, speaking, 
any question now? Yes. You know, we obviously thought that, I mean, we had, but then myself has visited uh, the one or two MFIs uh, in Yadurga. And then we said, I mean, instead of us, uh, instead of, you know, people uh, going here, then I'm looking for the, um, looking for the people, uh, looking for the clients, why don't you give us only the names and the cycles that we can also uh, uh, randomly pick. But as you were, Samita said, they were already reluctant to give that. And we didn't insist because we were also from outside, so that they didn't want to give us a hand in front of the whole thing. Then we said, okay, we'll come to Sagar and get because maybe they have some electricity to give. So we just allocated only to the urban summer, urban and rural. And after that, we are just only honestly relying on the help of the grant manager and his goodness uh, to help us get through the sector. Hello? So, yeah. Oh, uh, okay, I'm going to the next question. Uh, uh, sir, just, just uh, uh, ma'am, uh, Sangeeta, ma'am, Sadhan is, is not having uh, that cycle related data. data. Uh, I, I understand you collect various types of data no, from no, your no, uh, members. No, no, Achha. Achha. We, hmm. we, uh, we only collect the uh, cent central data. Hmm. Right, we Achha, Achha. Okay. Uh, because uh, client level data is not possible to collect because it is, uh, no, the client privacy. Achha. Achha. Central, can, can, can we help them uh, uh, by talking to the promoter? Yeah, yeah, we can, we can definitely help, help out, sir. But, but uh, they, they I mean, at present, I think I understand. Uh, uh, the uh, Sadhan is giving some, some letter, letter to uh, I mean, uh, after, after talking because the, the most of the members are, are uh, uh, MFI are members of Sadhan. Yeah, I understand Sadhan is still giving some comfort letter or kind of recommendation or whatever it is to that team, survey team. So, so I, I think, think with this, with that, that they are proceeding. proceeding. I think, I think the, there, there should, should not be issue in uh, no, get, uh, sir, disclosing the information in Ultimately, yeah, yeah. ultimately, sir, it is the aim, like say, to reach out those clients, right? So that that is being done right now with another strategy. Yes. Okay. okay. Okay, okay ma'am. Ma uh, no, no. If, if you, you need, need any help, that's what in the beginning sir was telling. And you should not see. We, we also know uh, uh, talk to our MFI, MFI clients uh, you know, from time, from time to time. time. So, so if, if you, you need any support, support from us, us uh, please let, let us know. So, so we will also help in talking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so sir, can I proceed? Yeah, please, please, please go ahead. Okay. So this is cycle to cycle. are working fine. So now, I mean, this is a, just a pictorial description. Um, we basically wanted this type of distribution that the two ends should be lower and the middle range, uh, middle range should be high. So it's almost coming out. Uh, uh, I mean, that's a percentage wise. But in terms, this is not percentage. This is uh, in a particular state, the total number of samples is the so the total number of the state is already fixed. So this is part of a distribution. So it looks pretty nice. It looks pretty nice. It's just a reaffirmation of the reaffirmation of the cycle effect. That is, you know, in the previous slide, I showed you by cycles. I did not show you by state. I said across all the four states. But if you look within the states also, you shall see this is happening because they are actually insisting for not only state, they are actually insisting for district and not only district in that district in that MFI. So, so therefore, you know, I mean, that's, that's the beauty of this survey that is happening because of media and the air from Southern, that you can actually talk about, you know, because if you talk about this, this cycle of the total affair, then you can say that if you have got three times, four times, and if you have got five times, almost like this. Like this. If I can talk to you, you have to talk to you. Yeah. So, so I, I wanted to, to so that, that uh, both of you should be in touch with us. Because so many cases are happening at our level. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, if you look at the cycle effect, you know, we thought that you know, people who have got three, three times, four times, they are likely to be more healthy bottles because that's why they get three cycles. So, we can analyze this only at the in all the year level. That is at the beginning. That is what we thought at the beginning. People as a, I mean, when they are conceptual, conceptualizing the proposal. But in this draft, we can see that we can even talk about healthy borrowers and fresh borrowers, not only at the all India level, but we will be able to draw this as a 
at the even state level zone level uh, we will be able to do it because they are actually uh, insisting on this by uh, district and therefore it is also showing up in the state so this is a uh, really a uh, really a nice thing that is happening which we did not foresee in our proposal we thought that we will analyze by cycle but state wise cycle wise we never thought but this is now but this is now going to happen that even in a state you can figure out the inequality or the inequality of access or whatever you want to say it should be possible now after that in the last meeting uh, i mean uh, from cp only i think the nd or somebody suggested that we should also look for aspirational districts i mean Honestly, as I told you last time, that we did not have this aspirational district in our mind at the time of the proposal. However, at that meeting, we said we shall find out the set of our sample are there. Where uh, MFI is coming from aspirational district or not? So we went to the government India website and saw all the districts which are called aspirational district, and then we tried to identify the set of our district because our district is thirty-three. And our uh, district MFI is uh, 71. I mean, I uh, mean, MFI is district. And then we found the following: that the total district sample is 33, of which number of aspirational districts is five. I mean, in our sample, it just happened because we never chose the sample based on aspirational district. And the number of district MFI. If you count the number of MFI that are present, and those are the five districts. In Chhatwan, one is in Chhattisgarh, one is in Jharkhand, one is in Bihar, one is in Gujarat, and then uh, and the, the number of MFIs are which are in these uh, eleven uh, aspirational districts are those eleven. Anupurna, Arohu, Nashivad, and these uh, nine people are there, and it is not eleven because Ashivad is cut twice, and I think and that's why it's cut twice. And twice means to present in two districts. But the more beautiful thing is that. The sample size of these 11 districts, aspirational district M5 is quite large. It is 806. That means once we complete the survey, we should also have a sample of 806 people who are coming only from the aspirational districts. So this is not by choice, but it has got the planning and that is happened that the number of sample size is fairly good enough to do some robust statistical analysis. The way it is happening, and also it is also distributed across states, and it is also distributed across MFIs also. Uh, so the, this is the aspirational districts coverage uh, uh, that are there in the in our sample. Now the next one, the other thing which was also discussed in the advisory committee report was to cover the poorest of the poor coverage. Now allow me to please go back to the previous slide. Well, if you see cycle zero, which is includes the poorest of poor, is a sample size of 600. Earlier you decided 500, but six, I mean, six, I do not, of course, the actual coverage will not be exactly 600, maybe 50 here, 50 there. So, but uh, we thought 500 we should aim because uh, that is a reasonable, very good sample size for analyzing something meaningfully, numerically. So, so now, now this is the definition that you know, Bharti works in the development, uh, economic development uh, area. So, so the government of India identifies socially and economically deprived households based on which is the call that UPLH uh, based on a number of criteria which includes income, asset ownership, education of family members and others. Now these criteria are by state. So it is, so it is not possible to say this income for that state, that income, that income for other state, this is this many asset, this many education. So, so what, what happens, happens our survey, the survey that median is doing includes questions that are able to identify the poorest of the poor also. Basically, those they go and ask, you know, what asset you have, you have, you have broken home, uh, do you have uh, the, the thatched roof, you have gas, you have light, etc. etc. Et and based on that, we so they identify the poorest of the poor from the, the questionnaire and which questionnaire from the conditions and those conditions are specific on our own conditions, the conditions are specified by the uh, with the official website of the definition of people like you. Now, if you I mean, have this question, of course, is going to be asked to everybody in the survey. Everybody is being asked. Now, if you go and ask it to the, if you go and ask it to the little bit of the household in a little bit richer state, then the probability of your finding uh, people who are actually poorest of poor is a little bit low because this is already a uh, developed state. On the other hand, if you go and ask the same questions to all the households in a little bit poorer state or poorer district, 
the real probability of finding the poorest of the poor will be much uh, higher. So based on that, what Bharti did also, that based on the per capita, monthly per capita consumption expenditure from the 68th NSS around, uh, we have ranked all the districts based on uh, the, the I mean, descending order of uh, descending order of uh, of the by FPC, uh, FPC. And then we have identified the last three four districts, uh, which uh, last three four districts because by construction uh, within our center. Uh, that, that these are the states which are the lowest. lowest. These are the districts and the states which are the lowest. And this happened to be uh, Bihar, Bihar, and Odisha. Odisha we have already completed. And, and that, that is why you see, see you see that though we covered uh, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Odisha, and uh, Odisha, and Odisha, and the Karnataka, then, then they are not coming in the last four. And, and therefore, the contribution of that poorest of poor was coming only 98, which is only 5.8%, and which is not far less than 10%. But uh, once, once we start, start Bihar, for example, example and we start Uttar Pradesh, then the proportion of the proportion of this poorest of poor coming up will be much higher. Right now, right the poorest of poor is only coming from Odisha. Uh, uh, so, so we, we have in this mind the poorest of the poor because that's happened in the several meetings, and especially Mr. Brimore and Mr. G D also kept on saying that you know we have to do something for to reach the last mile, we have to reach the last mile, we have to reach the last mile. And then uh, we are categorizing uh, so as a advisory committee system to do that. And uh, so we are keeping that in, in our mind. I am pretty sure that we are going to get this. Now, final slide. So you know about the timeline. So I do not honestly, you know, I mean, uh, when we started the study, uh, we honestly thought that we will be able to give it a 31st of uh, first of August. That was the last day. But after that, we will do whatever little bit travel here, then the letter, etc., etc. The final letter that we got, I mean, uh, at the time the fund where we uh, the thing was being resolved, was 31st of August. We uh, generally did not ask for time and extension. But we just, just get a delay. But, but now we are committing to you the following that you said last time also. I talked to Swati and I talked to the median people. They say that July 26 is the last day. They didn't say, they didn't say this is a tentative date. This is the last day that we are going to complete the survey. We might complete 20 days, 10 days before. And I think I buy there. I buy there idea because we have, they have completed only 60 days. They have only completed 60 days. This is 26 days. So there is one month left. For them, one, one month left at the beginning, the states were very big, big. so logistic so problem is high because you have to travel a lot. lot. But there are now the coverage is smaller states, so the logistic problems are uh, traveling problems are less. But the team is present everywhere. But of course, uh, and, and now you know, they are a little bit much more fortified with the idea of how to talk to branch managers and etc. I mean, they are uh, now in little bit very smoothly, so they can finish it. As far as, 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 as concerned, Swati has, 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 has given us, is giving us the part of the Excel file or the four files that they have already committed, and we are starting the analysis on first of uh, first of July. So uh, that so it is not that we we going to start the uh, start our analysis only after they give us the report because the structure of the data set is exactly the same. Only some lines are going to get added. So Bhartiya now start uh, start analyzing the data from first of uh, first of uh, July, and we will give you a draft report on October 21st, and we will give you, we, I mean, if there is always an emergency for an issue, but in the God for it, nothing happens. We are going to give you, we are going to meet that timeline of 31st of August. We are, we are going to, we, are, we will give you the final report on 28th, on 21st, if you give, you can give comments, etc. If you want us to give us another review report at the end of this month, I mean, end of this month, month is end of July. July. We'll be happy to give you uh, again another uh, report on uh, uh, as on 31st of July. After one month, we'll be able to give. We'll give you a draft report on 21st of August. We'll give you the final report on August 20th. We stand by these days. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think uh, uh, progress appears to be uh, satisfactory, sir. Hope uh, we'll be meeting these deadlines. And uh, if any issues are there, if we need to talk to the promoters of any of the MFIs, you please let us know so that we can also intervene and uh, the things can be smoothed and out. Yes, sir. Uh, we, are, we have already created a WhatsApp group between uh, Swati 
and uh, Swati is a brilliant person and, uh, and Sangeeta and myself and, uh, and uh, Bharti and the Sangeeta are the person who is speaking. We will of course uh, let you know anything that we uh, we need. And I am confident that when you ask for help, it will come, I know. And we will ask for help whenever we need. I mean, it's so, so reassuring for us to hear that you say this. Yeah. Anything else, Sintil? Uh, sir, just uh, one thing I just uh, no, thought of asking, asking you. you. This survey team, uh, whether they have, uh, they have uh, panic, uh, you, as, as you are telling, logistics is one of the problem. problem. So, so uh, that uh, uh, survey, survey, for, survey, survey company, company is a panic company, company, so that uh, they can engage the nearest. Achha, okay, okay. okay. Uh -huh. If I may add, the, the problem is this is the month and time, so the MFI's officials are a bit busy, so they do not know how to uh, no, uh, accommodate the survey at times. Correct, so correct, it, it is just correct, uh, mm. just have to follow up with them that after this we can correct, do correct. one day or two days. So that also is is uh, taking a bit of time uh, because this, you, uh, these are the bigger states and the traveling time, you know, all that. Uh, otherwise, it is uh, mostly okay. Going Quite smoothly. smoothly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Since no, one more thing I thought of telling you. Since we are based out of Mumbai. So, so we may, may some, some of the review meeting we may come, come and have a beautiful place also, sir. Sure. That is the beautiful thing when yeah. you start yeah. in some time. Sometimes you can go to the place, nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, please. Uh, and and vice versa, also, also, please, you also come, come here uh, 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 for the yeah, yeah. meeting. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Sarkar. Thank you, Mr. Samita. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
अभी देखिए सर्वे बहुत फ्लो चल रहा है तो मैं पूछ रही हूँ क्या बोलेंगे तो क्या तो मैंने उसमें एक्सरसाइज बनाया है तो ये तो बहुत ही जो भी सर्वे हो गया है उसमें अपडेट कर ये बना तो एक कभी एक को भी मैं बोल रहा हूँ सर्वे भी कर सकता है आई जी डे आर का तो दूसरा भी एक काम है 